Rec Room filmmaking is where some people take the plunge into the great career of a director. Some know what to do, some don't know where to start. With that being said, let's make you a better director. Unless you're recording a silent movie, you gotta have some sound. There are many different ways you can implement sound into your films, whether it be volume, impact fully, panning, and background and foreground sounds. Wait, hold on. The first thing you can do to help your sound in your videos is turning off your in-game sounds. You can start off by going to your settings, audio, turning off your music, which will turn off any in-game music, your sounds, which will turn off footsteps, and anything else that makes a sound, like throwing a water bottle. If you do not have access to sounds outside of Rec Room, keep them on. They'll do a great deal of help. Turning off ambience will turn off the crowd in the background. And turning off voices, I do not recommend if you have acting on the spot. Otherwise, if you have voice acting in post, turn them off. On to our next subject, audio effect zones. Audio effect zones are drawable objects, just like trigger zones, that modify any incoming audio. You can find an audio effect zone by going here in your Maker Pen palette. You can change what the audio FX zone does to your sound by going configure on your Maker Pen and clicking on the zone. Starting off, we have underwater, which does this. You have multiple things to work with. First off, the shape can be a cube or a sphere, depending on your environment. The effect will obviously change the effect. The intensity will determine the intensity of ratio between the effect selected and nothing. If it's 100%, it will always be only the effect. 50%, halfway in between. Welcome to Rec Room. There's still a little bit retaining, but it's mostly clear. Now we have fog, which muffles everything and sounds like. Welcome to Rec Room. Then we have space, which sounds like. Welcome to Rec Room. Then we have small cave, which is a downgraded version of space but not too echoey. Welcome to Rec Room. Then on the second page, we have Big Cave, which is a bigger version of a small cave, obviously. Welcome to Rec Room. And then none? We'll just do nothing. Now there's one more thing here, priority. What priority does, if there's multiple FX zones, this will determine what gets overrided and what is selected as the effect. The highest priority out of the FX zones will be selected. So, since this is a 5, let's say that I have another FX zone with a 4. The one with the 5 will be selected as the effect. When determining what FX you should use, you should consider your environment. Currently, in the ink space, there's a lot of reflective bricks and walls. But, there's an overabundance of absorbent objects like soft cushions, carpet, and the curtains. So, that being said, I'm going to be using a fog effect with an intensity of about 40. This will give us a nice muffled sound, but not too muffled. This will sound like... Welcome to Rec Room. Compared to... Nothing. Welcome to Rec Room. Now we are back in Sony Vegas talking about the last thing, which is panning. Panning is determining whether it should go in your left ear or right ear. If you do not know how to access your panning settings, Type up on Google how to get panning settings in your software. In Sony Vegas, what you do, you click the FX button, add an FX, double click pan, then click OK. What you'll have is a slider from left to right. All the way to the left, well obviously, put it in the left ear. All the way to the right, puts it in the right. You don't want to have it dead center even if it's very close to the center because it just sounds a little bit unnatural. So what I'd like to do is add just a little bit of panning, but not too much. Sounds a little bit more natural now, because it's slightly on the left. The bottle is also slightly on the left of the screen. Keep it subtle, but keep it noticeable. Keep in mind when you're working on your project. In most cases, there is never too much sound. And with everything I've gone over today, here is a skit displaying how you can use your sound to your best advantage.
I'll just get a beer. Rough night. Yeah, it was a pretty terrible. What the fuck? That's all for now. Stay tuned for the next episode where we talk about voices and dialogue.